Hello Aquarius! Welcome to your bonus love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see, Aquarius, what do we have for you? What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, okay. So um, what I am getting here, Aquarius, that you might expect this person that we are connecting this reading for you to invite you some, somewhere. Um, this energy it's more about like a social gatherings um, so for some of you you might have met this person at, at the party or at some sort of gathering or event okay but what I am seeing here is that this person is going to invite you somewhere Mutual energy, we have news messages, visitor activity. So something here is going to happen. Um, I feel this person is planning because your energy is very passive. So I'm seeing this person planning here to take action. Um, if there is no contact situation between the two of you, Aquarius, this person is going to send you a message. You, there, will, there is a communication and this is mutual energy. So it's a communication back and forth, you know, chatting, texting. Uh, talking you'll be in touch with this person that's what's going to happen in the near future your energy uh, it's more about strength protection I feel that you are holding back at the moment uh, you are very selective with your energy and you are taking back control mm -hmm. three I feel that at the end of the day, Aquarius, you want to be in a very healthy relationship, long-term relationship, stable relationship, you know, and um, the thing here is that it feels based on this overall energy that this connection has a potential to grow, for growth or to grow into something really profound, but there is a need for... Uh, to be grounded, to be very practical about this whole situation. That's what I am getting. For some of you, this is someone who really wants to reconnect with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Aquarius and this connection? Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Aquarius and this connection? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have the hanged man. We have a knight of wands, the world, two of swords, the death card. We have judgment, of course we do. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, additional message, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups as an overall energy. So Aquarius, you might be dealing with Pisces. We have very strong Scorpio energy. Also your energy Aquarius, therefore it might be another Aquarius, Leo and Taurus. So when it comes to this person, we have a hanged man knight of wands the world and two of swords i feel you have someone here who's been very in and out uh, in your life what i am getting here aquarius someone who it might be a case for some of you it's like an ongoing connection where this person is disappearing metaphorically saying meaning they are not in touch with you for like two or three months and when they're coming back with this Knight of Wands energy being very inconsistent, indecisive, very in and out and hot and cold, giving you all attention. And it's like the reason why they're doing this is because this is someone who feels unfinished business with you, with the world. 
with the two of swords it's like they are blocking uh end of the cycle regarding this connection they, do, they don't want you to move on or to leave them behind that's what i am getting but at the same time this person is very much in the knight of wands energy which represents someone who's been very in inconsistent and very indecisive they are when they are reappearing they're giving you all the attention and you might be feeling like things will be different but at the end of the day it's just like never-ending story things are just the same and the outcome is the same um what i am seeing here that indeed something might have ha might have ended between the two of you with the death card but this person wants to resurrect with the judgment this situation this connection something regarding this relationship with you Aquarius so you have someone here who is coming back we have an ace of pentacles knight of pentacles the thing is about this individual I feel that you are dealing here with the metaphorically saying with the creature of habit with the knight of pentacles this is someone who has certain habits they just acting in a certain way they don't like change and something here it's taking forever for this person to do uh, we have an ace of pentacles which represents opportunity and uh, it feels like this person here it will come with some sort of kind of offer ace of pentacles suggests that it might be an offer of value a solid offer i feel this this offer is about that reconciliation for some of you with the page of cups as an overall energy this person will invite you somewhere you receive an invitation or it's like they will be in touch they'll say listen uh, i am in town or um if that's not the case um you know shall we meet up i haven't seen you for a for some time something like this you know do you have uh some time to free time to go out or to to go for a coffee or to just you know to talk something like this i'm getting if that's not the case uh, this person is will try to make a good impression i feel this person will try to kind of um make an impression on you that they've changed uh, that uh, they are more um it's like that this person is more emotionally available that's what i'm getting very strongly but you have someone here who's showing up in night night's energy and a page's energy at the end of the day it might appear and they're giving you impression or they've been giving you impression for a long time here Aquarius that this person has a lot to offer but at the end of the day they are choosing to not to do that and it's their choice that's what they're choosing to be knight of wands to be page of cups a little bit of affection here a little bit of time a little bit of um, attention but nothing solid okay let's see could you please show me ten of pentacles yeah i feel that you want a serious relationship that's the thing not you don't want a knight of wands knight of wands it's yeah it's it's, it's it's good fun let's say it that way this is very creative passionate energy but it's inconsistent it's in and out could you please show me Aquarius's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please? We have a Hierophant. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with Taurus. Ace of Wands. nine of pentacles four of swords eight of cups and five of wands i feel Ten of Swords mm -hmm, at the bottom of the deck. What I am getting here, Aquarius, that you see this person as a drama. Someone who is complicating things when there is no need for doing that. Someone who doesn't like being criticized, who doesn't take criticism very well. Someone who puts you at some point in a very co competitive energy 
with the five of wands but i feel this is someone here who can be very very stubborn there is something about the dynamics that they created with your aquarius and it feels a little bit with this hierophant like a teacher student dynamic where you might feel that this where this person came across as someone who always knew best or they always know better and it's like no matter how valid point you might have and how knowledgeable you are Aquarius this person will always try to kind of manipulate the argument that you will f I feel that you will kind of feel that um, there is no point to even put your kind of point across or if you put put or for instance if you are putting your point across this person might be gaslighting you something like this I'm getting they always want to the bottom line here is that they always want to be right and it's like they want you to follow their lead that's what I am getting mm. so we have a hierophant with the ace of wands to the nine of pentacles that's what I was getting Aquarius that you are serious you want a stable long-term relationship um, and I feel you've kind of made yourself clear at some point with the ace of pen ace of wands you took action you made yourself clear that that's what you want but this person they they might have gave you uh, an answer or they kind of they approach was that from now on you see this person with the nine of pentacles as someone who is non-committal that they might not be interested in a long-term serious level of commitment because nine of pentacles it's it represents a single person in a love readings it's or someone who has that kind of mindset even if they are in a relationship they might be acting you know outside of this relationship as they are single or someone who essentially is can be quite arrogant or quite selfish and they might be coming across from time to time as they don't need anyone or anything it's like they are fine by their own and I feel that you kind of see this person. I feel that there was a conversation. You vocalize uh, your opinion here and you've made yourself very clear that you would like to be in a serious relationship with the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. But uh, there is something here about Nine of Pentacles. And I feel this is something here that this person told you. Oh, it's like they approach or they handle the situation in that way where you've realized that actually i feel that this person is not really interested well they are still in a knight of wands energy very in and out this is also kind of a player energy uh, and nine of pentacles might suggest that you see them as someone who indeed is is uh is not really looking for something serious and they are non-committal and they are non-committal essentially then we have a four of swords, eight of cups and five of wands. I feel that at the end of the day, Aquarius, you made the decision and I feel that was you. You made the decision to detach or to distance yourself emotionally from that dynamic, from that situation. Four of swords suggests here that there is no contact situation between the two of you. Oh, it's like even if this person, because it might be a case for some of you, that this person recently kind of re wanted to renew contact with you or they start being in touch with you i feel that you are very 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 distant with the four of swords and eight of cups it's like mm, i feel that you have your guard up but especially with the five of wands because it's like you know this person's ways but four of swords here suggests that you are healing and you did enormous amount of healing cross watches the roles can be reversed uh, but um i feel that you really kind of distance and uh, if you if there is no contact situation uh, i'm seeing you the one who've kind of made the decision conscious decision to took a step back and with the eight of cups you might have indeed for some of you you've decided to completely walk away from that situation maybe you blocked this person or you decided to distance yourself 
from that person on emotional level because the outcome is always the same it's five of wands it's it's a power struggle this person is a drama they creating obstacles complications issues in this connection and it's like I feel that you at some point you you, you just had enough ten of swords yeah I feel at the top of all those issues this is someone who at some point betrayed your trust with the ten of swords and there was a very very emotionally painful ending between the two of you let's see Aquarius let's see the outcome we have eight of pentacles the sun we might be dealing with Leo we have a king of cups knight of swords yeah so Aquarius with the eight of pentacles this person here uh, because they want to resurrect something with you that's very telling isn't it even when it comes to symbolism the death cut to the judgment right that sort of kind of energy I'm getting here very strongly eight of pentacles suggests that this person will be giving you lots of lots of attention and that's what they're showing this person in their energy they are knight of wands this is someone who's been a runner and now we have a knight of swords which is a chaser so that's what they kind of I feel this is how the structure of this connection has been you know this is someone who developed that kind of dynamic between the two of you once they were a chaser once they were a runner they're going to be a chaser now I can tell you that eight of pentacles suggests that this person will come forward here and they will try to show you that they care that they are willing to put an effort they want things to work out between the two of you with the king of cups I feel Aquarius that you have feelings for this person at the same time I feel very strongly here that you know you're trying to be very practical about the situation you kind of deeply inside see this person for who they truly are but uh, I feel that you do have feelings for them you have feelings for them with this king of cups because that's also your energy that you are coming in uh, to this outcome mutual energy we have the sun the sun brings optimism happiness joy and fulfillment this is you know the nicest and the most positive card in the deck so for me you know as a reader what I am seeing here you have a very nice outcome it's just the question is if you want this you know because I'm seeing this person kind of coming back here trying to prove it to you that they care that, that you'll be receiving lots of attention from this person they're going to chase you with the knight of swords but there is also that knight of swords as an overall energy suggests that something here has to be addressed and I feel that you feel that you have something to tell this person you have something to say but equally this person really wants to talk about this, this whole situation uh, as well the sun is a mutual energy suggests that both of you at the end of the day have very warm feelings for each other and I feel with the king of cups uh, there is love between the two of you but I'm seeing you and this is what is quite nice Aquarius I see with the king of cups uh, you've achieved that kind of level of mastery between logic and heart and I feel in this particular situation that will be a very very uh, very useful for you you know that kind of ability to distinguish feelings with what is truly going on or that kind of you know uh, logic and and facts but I'm seeing here as when it comes to your outcome I see this person wanting resurrect things I see messages and communication coming in I feel that you know this person will make you feel happy with the Sun at some point um, and for you know as for now I see kind of um, you spending nice time with this person the, the question is are they ready to be in a serious relationship 
you know, because I feel this person doesn't mind uh, um, being in that kind of non-committal uh, situationship or something like this. But either way, I can tell you that for the near future, uh, Aquarius, this person is going to reach out. You will be in touch with this person. They will be showing you lots of attention. They, they will be trying. It's like you will see an effort from their side. And I feel that it will make you feel really happy. I feel this is a very, very complex connection because obviously emotions and feelings with this King of Cups are, are involved. But it's, 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 it's complicated. It's, it's not easy. It's not very kind of straightforward kind of connection. There are many nuances, if we can say it that way. And, um, and I feel this is an uh, ongoing situation, Aquarius. But in the near future, you can expect that things will change here for the better. And you will, you will be receiving lots of attention from this individual Aquarius. Aquarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Aquarius, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.